My beautiful Aquarians, I welcome you to your mid-month readings. Sometimes I really love when you love sending me emails and requesting these readings. Because sometimes, you know, when you got caught up into some kind of routine and other things, you kind of forget. So let's do a mid-month reading for you and how these energies are will bless you or even affect you in which way. Sometimes could affect you in a great way, sometimes not as great. Take what resonates loves, leave what doesn't, and now certain messages are definitely here there for you. Aquarius, what do we have for you for this mid-month? What do we need to know? What do we need to see? And embrace. That's it, darlings. And of course, if resonates, let us know as well. I have a five of pentacles. We have a moon. It's. It seems here that you have a decision that you, you know you need to make it, but you are hesitating. Five of cups. Queen of Cups, the Devil, Three of Pentacles, and the Tower. Spear says, if you don't make that decision, the universe will make it for you and move you forward. Something here, Spirit says, do not be afraid to let go. Because whatever here you are hesitating to let go doesn't serve you to your best. Because the universe tries to move you forward. This is kind of the universe intervention for some of you. For example, you, you're having a hard time to let the person go from your life, which clearly you know for more than five years the things are pretty, pretty bad. For others of you, there is someone who is not here on this world anymore, but that person wants you to let them go. Okay, I see a mother figure here. For others of you, it's a, a work situation here that you try to fix. And, and why the universe doesn't want you to, to keep you in this energy? Because you invest your energy, but it's not where you should to invest your energy. Because you deserve more and a lot of more movement. You know, sometimes certain things happen and they happen for a reason, not because the universe that's how it wants to be, but it's kind of to your own best. Nine of Cups, Three of Wands, Five of Wands, and Two of Pentacles. It's kind of where you are, there is no growth. Moon, Devil, Tower, and the, the Will. This is something here, work-related energy. You hope certain things here to come to a better light, but Spirit says it is time. The only five missing is Five of Swords. And Five of Swords speaks about, don't lie to yourself about that something here can be fixed. Because I see here you doubt, maybe, maybe I am, you know, I'm... I'm too overreacting. You're not overreacting. And the Queen of Cups here, it's for a reason. And the Queen of Cups is speaking about allow it. Allow it for this to go. For some of you, you are way too good in a situation. Queen of Cups work-related energy is not really, not really good. Because Queen of Cups think everyone is good. Everything can be good or everything you know will will get better and things like that yes speaking of a positive energy but not realistic energy here okay sorry if i'm so direct but some somebody here definitely needs to hear these messages so look at here i took the wheel next to the tower so something here it's telling you that the foundation that was it's is getting out of place and the wheel is turning. There is other things coming in. And it's to the better. 
what's the nine of cups for some of you you are in a place where there's no growth not necessary of other people or other things here it's kind of you look for a clear direction but there is a lot of mess around this I don't know what example uh, to, to bring to you, but it's kind of like Nine of Cups, Judgment. You know you are, you gotta get out of your comfort zone and, and get to a more balanced way, a balanced energy with the Temperance. Five of Wands here, Ace of Cups. There's something new and it seems here could be within five weeks, one month, one month and a half, you are gonna move forward. There's something here like your your money, your finances, your your prosperity, your abundance is not where you are, but it's in completely something new. Two of Pentacles full. So if you are thinking of something new, just go ahead. Because I see you are doubting. I feel also so, some people here are telling you why you still procrastinating. Why you still hoping for something to come when, when you clearly know. Look at here, the Ten of Cups. You know where you are at your best. Another thing here, we have two, we have three of pentacles, we have five of pentacles, which make the ten of pentacles. So your ten of pentacles is in something new, not in something you let go. For some of you, definitely you got to accept the change because five speaks about changes. A new change that's coming in very quick. Another thing here, Nine of Cups and Ace of Cups makes the Ten of Cups, which is, here is the Ten of Cups. Your happiness, your abundance, again, it's in the new. And Spirit says again, do not procrastinate this new beginning, new foundation. Let's see one more card for the Two of Pentacles and the Fool. The Emperor. Wow. Start something new and be ready for it. Emperor and the, um, the Fool. Aries energy, Mars energy. And Mars really speaks about go and get it. Yes, Mars is the, um, the masculine energy, very strong. For some of you, yes, this mid-month comes in, but your, your real challenge or your real go get stuff go get energy will be in april or as the um, the sun moves in aries after the 20th so quite a few days as you see here for some of you mid months is the 15 on the 20th because only the five missing is five of swords and the swords for me are within days for some of you, it could be within five hours, as we see here. But for some of you, which most of you, it's the five days. So around the 20th of this month, you definitely are going to take charge to move forward. As we move in Aries season, Aries energy, definitely that's, that's the go. Look at here, justice. So... It's kind of, I do something for me to benefit all of us. Because Emperor and Justice, Aries and Libra, these are very opposite energies. So as Sun moves in the Aries, Mars energy, and we have a full moon in Libra on the 25th, which is not a complete full moon, actually, is a lunar south node eclipse which is bigger than a full moon okay and then we have a solar north node eclipse which is a new moon in aries and that is in april 8th which is a huge huge eclipse so it seems here for for some of you aquarius the new beginning is coming around the eclipses and this message is coming in now for you to get ready 
and this is not something here funky and easy. Five of Swords speaks about, you might say, well, yes, I am allowing this, but the universe is telling you, once you say yes, there's no going back. Okay, and Five of Swords is kind of like, you might feel will be your way. It's, it's definitely the universe way. All what you need to do is, I'm allowing, I'm ready, let's go. And definitely I can do this. For some of you, you are overcoming a karmic cycle here, okay, which is quite painful to to move. For some of you, this could be regard your finances or your past situations or your past beliefs that you you've been truly feeling that that's the the real you. What else? What else for my Aquarius? This is a very strong energy here, loves. Hang a man. Six of Wands. Overcoming some kind of uh, stagnation, loves. Six of Wands is definitely here. The victory card. The hang man is not moving. For some of you, seeing the situation from a different perspective makes you to see a uh, go through situation. The future. I know the past. And I can see my future. Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, you will realize how how much time needed you to to understand where you are or where you were been. Okay. Lovers. And definitely here, for some of you, you will realize that it's always a choice to stay or to go, to fight or to give up. And as I always say, never give up on yourself. Never. Because at the end of the day, it's you who you have. Even though, as I always say, we are born alone, we die alone, what's in between, it's up to us. So make it count. What advice we have from spirit here? It's like some of you... Look at these two ladies here. Look, it's very, very similar. This one with this one, with this one here. It's like your true you on a physical plane and on a 5D plane. For some of you, this is um, your rebirth as kind of the death and rebirth. And it's kind of coming the new you in a more balanced and healed way. So some past energy, it's, it's dying, it's over or it's transforming. It's not dying, it's transforming. Let's see what advice we have from spirit. Ten of Wands. Let go the baggage. Let go the past. Let go whatever here. It's way too heavy to take you in a new way. You know, when we're moving to a new house or a new place or a new, let's say, you moving to a new I don't know, I'm hearing continent. For some of you, you literally could move. But it's like when you're moving to a certain place, you are not taking all the stuff. You purge everything you don't need. It's kind of like you take the minimal stuff. You're not taking all, all the stuff. So that's kind of like whatever it's heavy here, it's time to let it go. And give those who need it. And Spirit says, once you do that, the universe will give you more energy into the new. Absolutely. Knight of Cups. So what I'm feeling here, look at here, the Hermit. It's kind of you, you could be put so much energy, could invest so much energy. Now, this is a easier energy. The only Knight missing here is Knight of Wands. A Knight of Wands is the Knight of, you know here and there going up and down and it's a very free spirit night for some of you if you felt kind of like 
because look at here the devil energy in other cards is is an energy that is kind of like trapped so you are not trapped anymore or you are not gonna feel trapped you you have other options you see throughout other things so I see here you are getting out of some kind of situation that you felt trapped or felt there is no other way but now you realize that you know it's time and it seems here that this Knight of Cups comes quite in handy absolutely for some of you you might not see this but it's like learning to be happy in a new layout or learning a new life or a, a new way of being you or feeling in a better energy it's it's quite a challenge so for some of you definitely whatever you're going whatever you are moving towards it's whole new way and for some of you never say never because for some of you could say oh no way i will feel happy there but it seems here once you learn this new life you'll feel like no way i will ever do again whatever i used to do because look at here, you you definitely here like looking for, I want to just be happy. And this two of swords is just kind of like you refuse to go back to some kind of old life. Aquarius, that's what I got for you, darlings. I hope this resonates. I hope this speaks to you. If it does, let us know. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.